a successful actress. Oh, Lord. She's going to be an entertainer. A platinum-selling singer. A tabloid headliner. Uh, no. That wasn't, that wasn't really fun. And a friend. I'm like, just sorry. What do you mean? Now they're going to know. Selena Gomez may be just 21 years old, but she's felt the highs and lows of fame. I didn't expect it to be as as controversial as it ended up being. Tonight, I'm getting together with the young star for laughs, friendly competition, and to ask some hard-hitting questions. Was that a difficult one for you? And how long will you keep the highlights? <laughs> because when it comes to being a celebrity, it's not always fun and games. Yes, you win. I won! They pick the games I intentionally suck at. Let's go, Gomez. Let's embarrass ourselves. Okay, here we go. Okay. Interview Pong. Have you I ever know. done this? Never. Great. But I'm gonna then try. Just don't ask me something serious. Ready? So who were your inspirations as a kid? Like, who'd you look up to in, um, in, in Hollywood? It would probably actually be Hilary Duff, because she was on Lizzie McGuire. And so that makes me feel old. Ah. Oh. What? That makes me feel old. Oh, sorry. That's all right. And then who were your... Jeez, quit I'm hitting sorry. it so far back. Okay, okay. So it's um, six serving one? Uh, it's probably 20 serving one. Keeping the score. So if you weren't in entertainment, what would you be in? Professional ping pong player. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. It's been said and done. Disney darling to pop princess, Selena Gomez is one of Hollywood's most in-demand talents. I met the actress and singing sensation when she was only 16 years old, and her career has skyrocketed since. Her platinum-selling singles, box office hits, and widely reported romances have made Selena one of the most talked-about performers in the business. I sat down with the 21-year-old to discuss her crazy journey through stardom and how it all began. You are a successful singer. Actress, philanthropist, designer, nail maker. I mean, <laughs> the, the list goes on and on. And, and one of the things I've always noticed about you is that for being relatively young, you've got an unbelievable amount of maturity. And where, Thank do, you, you. where do you think that maturity comes from? Does it come from how you were raised or just starting in the business early? I think a combination of both, probably. When I started acting, I was seven and I worked with adults and, and you'd have to treat them with respect, and, and that's what, how it was raised. So I guess in a way, I just grew up with that. And then, and then once you start elevating it into where I've become now, it's just like, you kind of have to be, in a way. You grew up with different cultural influences from your, your parents, your yes. father, Mexican descent, your mother, Italian. How did those cultures influence you as a kid? On my dad's side, it's really all about family. And it's um, like, I should have kids now and be... be I think you should wait. <laughs> I'm definitely A going to. But, I mean, they, they, they pass those traditions on to me that I'm really thankful for. And then on my mom's side, it was just, it was just more about, yeah, just loving each other and, uh, and food. Because, you know, in the South, we know how to get some good food, so... And then there was a time when they split up. Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I believe I was about four or five. It was kind of blurry. What do you remember about that time? Um, it was confusing, um, just because I didn't really know what was going on. And, and plus, my parents were 16 and 17 when they had yeah. me. So uh, it was, it was, I never really understood it. And to be honest, I think I, I, I blamed my mom. And I just wanted a family. And then realizing growing up, my mom did all of the right decisions. And at what point did you have that realization about your mom? I'd have to say, probably when she met Brian, which is my stepdad, it, it was really hard for me to accept my stepdad. You know, I was sure. still really young. I was eight. I wanted my family together. And then all of a sudden, I just realized how happy my mom was. And Brian took on 
this dad role. And then I felt like I had the family that I wanted. Tell me about the first time that you decided to say to yourself, you know what, I, I love to act, I want to act. I think I always knew that I wanted to do it. Plus, I was an only child, so I basically entertained myself. I was super dramatic and um, always wanted to put on a show for everyone. I actually held auditions for my friends and, and wanting to, like, cast plays, like <laughs> my mom. I mean, my mom was probably a little bit of an influence in that because of the theater background. I loved watching her do her own makeup and run the lines in the mirror, and then she'd kind of notice and be like, oh, Lord, she's going to be an entertainer. Well, Here's some mail from Mr. Boyd and a postcard oh? to Barney and friends Ooh. from Colleen. When you were doing Barney, yes. you were also going to school at the time, right? Yeah. So you would, you'd work, you'd go to class, you'd yeah. go to school. How were you treated by other students when you were on a show like that? Uh, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't really fun. Um, I mean, it was, it was okay because I loved what I did and I, can, I considered myself lucky and I had my group of friends. Right. It was hard to be on a, a kid's show and then going to school back and forth. It's, yeah, of course, it was such an easy target to make fun of me for. So, yeah, I dealt with it, but, I mean, look at where I'm at now. So. I was going to say. And then came this unbelievable opportunity and world through Disney. Yeah which I would imagine you would say w was a breakthrough for you. Well, the interesting thing with, with the channel is that I, I, I auditioned with them when I was 11. I say life should be like an arcade machine. You have the rules right in front of you. Bing, bang, boom. I had done three pilots for them, and they didn't get picked up. So I, in a way, I kind of felt discouraged. And then I got Wizards. Everyone for coming to my quinceanera. I just love saying my quinceanera. Everyone, all together, my quinceanera. And then I remember stories of of all the girls that were working in the the Disney world, and they would like to write that all of you had issues with each other, and there was drama mm -hmm. with all of you. Mm -hmm. Was that true, or was that made out to be more than it was? It's like high school. I mean, that that was my high school. When you're in that group and you're all shooting on the same lot and then you have Demi and then you had the Jonas, you know, the Jonas guys and then yeah. you had Miley and you had all of that, it's not, it's not really like brain science where kids were growing up or figuring everything out. And yeah, of course, we had our moments. Right, what, what are some of the most memorable career moments that were sort of those life-changing times for you? Um, being on the show was definitely an important part. And then when music kind of happened, it was a huge deal to me. In 2009, Selena Gomez and her band The Scene released their debut album, Kiss and Tell, to fans around the world. At only 16 years old, the singer's star power grew with a hit show on Disney and a platinum selling single. It He took a big leap with that record specifically, and one that was a little bit risky because would you be accepted in this world of, of pop music on the pop charts? Were you ever worried about that or nervous about that? Yeah, music's a lot more intimidating than, than the acting side of the industry for me. I'm just still kind of doing my thing and trying to, you know, make great, great music, and yeah, of course, I was intimidated. And because you were doing so much, did you ever feel like you missed out on doing normal things that, that normal kids get to do? I guess, but I don't really regret that. There were definite weekends where I could go to the beach and have sleepovers with my friends. So I had those moments. I think I had enough of them, to be honest, um, because I do enjoy this, and I don't regret wanting to live a different lifestyle. Coming up, Selena shares with me the difficult side of fame. It gives me anxiety. It's not something that I'm, I'm really like. Okay, and the Olympics continue here. All right, ready? All right, you go first. Okay. And you've never played this before. Of course I've played this before. Okay, I don't believe you, but <laughs> How okay. How could I? I've, I've never played this before. What's the wildest thing a fan has done to try and get your attention? I've actually had somebody tattoo me on them before. <laughs> that was permanent? pretty permanent. Oh, you know what? We're in Hollywood, and it just dawned on me a lot of celebrities live around here. Okay. All right, who's your celebrity crush? Bradley Cooper. BC! <laughs> BC! No, no. I think he's oh too old gosh. for you. No, of course. That's why he's my celebrity crush. Younger, though, 
Um, Logan Lerman. Logan Lerman. Yes. But don't you have a good relationship with Logan? Um, we like to kind of hang out, but not really. It's not what he told me. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, right. And so, wait, we're both going to build the same thing here. You don't get it then, because look, I just won. No, you got to get to the top. Four in a row. Oh, connect four. Oh, I thought it was. I was like, this I is great. I thought it was connect six. This is great. Connect four. Action. With a successful show on Disney, a blossoming film career, and four hit singles topping the music charts, Selena Gomez has certainly made a name for herself in the business. But as a young girl growing up in the spotlight, fame didn't always come easy. Nearly every move captured by the paparazzi. The unwanted attention only worsened when she hooked up with pop star Justin Bieber. Selena opened up to me about the negative effects of fame and how she's handling the pressures of stardom. For many young stars who have had a lot of success at a young age, mm -hmm. sometimes they get on the wrong path. Mm -hmm. How do you stay on the right path? You are who you surround yourself with. I know that's such a cliche quote, but it's true. I've just witnessed it too much. It's easy to get caught up because, of course, you're, you're thrown things, you're given things that are fun and exciting, but it's just, at the end of the day, success is nothing if you don't have the right people to share it with. You're just going to end up lonely. And that temptation, which is, you know, it's all over this town, it doesn't get to you. It has. I mean, I'm human. You got to snap out of it, though, you know? Mm -hmm. I, of course I've had my moments. It's fun to, like, go to some of the parties and, you know, it's just fun to meet people and it's cool. Yeah, you, there's moments where it's fun. And how did your friends handle your fame and your success? Some it affected, others I still talk to, like the ones that I've went to third grade with that I'm still very close to that I see every time I go home. And then others just got freaked out by it and then I lost touch with them. Hey Selena, how are you? Good, how are you? Any, birthday, any birthday wishes? When do you think the paparazzi started to take notice of you? When did you feel it happen? I was 15 and I went to the beach with my family and I'm a 15-year-old in a bikini, and there were like seven guys, and it just like ruined my day. And so from that point on, I, I just I had to deal with it. So how does it affect you now? It gives me anxiety. I'm trying to drive, and then I have like them kind of all blocking me in each way as I'm driving, and, and then I just try to keep my head down, and then they just start getting mean and just say things, and it's just, it's not something that I'm, I'm really like. But like, if I'm just gonna go to my friend's house, I drive a Ford Escape Hybrid, I'm like, just, <laughs> sorry, what do you mean? Now they're gonna know. Trust me, I try, <laughs> I, to, I try everything to hide from them, they, they, they'll find me. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it does, it gives me anxiety. Did you notice it get worse when you and Justin were together? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but... at a point where it was almost unbearable? Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure you could actually see those pictures of me, like, being way stressed out about it. And it's hard, because what do you do? Do you just want to, like, sit in your house and, and hide and not go anywhere? I was, um, age 18 when we started to date, and it was just like, I don't know. It, it, you just have to be an 18-year-old and go through everything. There were stories about, uh, you know, his fans mm -hmm. hating on you mm -hmm. and, and even sending death threats yeah. to you. Yeah. Did you ever get to a point where you said, this is just not worth it? This is just too intense? No. No, because I understand it. I was in love with Justin McCartney when I was younger. I was like 13, and he <laughs> was my life. I mean, everything to Beautiful me. Beautiful soul was your favorite Oh, yeah. Friend. Oh, yeah. And he was with Katie Cassidy, and I was so, like, oh, I was so upset. It's obviously not nice, and it's not really a, go a good feeling, but I get it. What would you say your your type is what type of guy it's just honesty egos turn me off big time and i mean it's hard to just date in this industry it really is because it's not even really it has to be anything serious it just can be fun because it should be because i'm young but you just can't really help the people that you meet or that you fall in love with or that you want to date and i want somebody who can make me laugh and just be normal and understand my my lifestyle and and how i want to live it you know do you think you learned a lot by being in a serious relationship, high-profile relationship at a young age? Yes, I learned a lot. What lesson? I learned that I should definitely keep it way more private next time. 
Coming up, Selena sets the record straight. Are you with Justin or are you not with Justin? On E. You go first, try and get it okay. in the hall. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, a little under, a little under. What the heck? Okay, ah! so I get to ask you a question. Uh, tell me, what are you going to take out on tour with you? Like something fun. What do you get to take? Is there a pet? Is there a food? Is there we a actually do want to think about bringing my dog on like some of it, but he's huge. Can he have a role on stage? Uh, maybe at one point. You know, like Mick Jagger brings out somebody. Yeah, I did it! Nice you job. missed it! I, I saw it. I'm standing right here, and I can replay it on TV. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta get this in. <sighs> Ty! They picked the games I intentionally suck at. She's grown up on television and captivated audiences with her music, but today, 21-year-old Selena Gomez is reinventing herself once again with a new tour, a new film, and a new song hitting number one on the music charts. Gomez is making the move from child star to superstar. There's a song that we're playing on the radio often called Come and Get It. Yeah. Did you think after you made the record that it would have the impact that it did and be a hit record? I knew that it was a great song and I knew I loved it. Right. Um, but the fact that it went platinum, like, just made my life. You also said that this would be your last album. Yes. Is that true? Yes. I really genuinely want to take, like, a couple of years off. I just don't feel like I've accomplished enough in film. So I just genuinely need to take a break from that for a while. At some point, you as a woman and, and you as an actor, you say, OK, I've, I've got to make a, a shift and have an evolution and, and, and grow a little bit. Yeah. How difficult was that for you and what was the thought process? I think I'm still doing that. I think I'm still going through that transition because I'm not wanting to be the one that wants to shed the, the quote-unquote Disney image. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what the right way to make that transition is. I'm just trying to do the best I can. I just knock on wood, hope to just continue to do it well. And to make the right choices. Yeah. One of those choices was a relatively provocative choice <laughs> in a movie called Spring Breakers. Yes. Were you nervous? Were you worried about doing that? Um, not really, to be honest, because I felt like I needed a sense of release and freedom creatively. What did mom and, and stepdad Brian say when you showed interest in doing that movie? Did they read the script? Well, my mom was the one that brought me the script. She did? Yeah. And, and you said, Mom. Literally, I exactly <laughs> said that. I was like, and why do you want me to be a part of this? And then I realized this is an indie movie. It'll be small, not thinking it would become as controversial as it ended up being. And the director of the movie gave me a shot. And not a lot of directors would do that, especially for a movie like that, because of the background I'm from. I know you just finished a film, an action film. It's called The Getaway. I had to wear like really baggy clothes and I had to be this tomboy character that knew a lot about technology and cars. It was a really cool, different role for me to play. And your hair is black. It was. Which just yeah. reminded me of the major headline of you getting, uh, what, I don't know what you call them, highlights, are, are they? I guess and it was uh, like the, It was like a global story that you had lighter hair. Uh, <laughs> what went into that decision, Selena? <laughs> Was that a difficult one for you? Don't and how you long will you keep the highlights? Don't you love that? That's a, that has oh, to be. Oh, it was everywhere. It was the biggest. It was one of the biggest stories of the month. Oh, jeez, tear. <laughs> I mean, please let us know when will it go to another color? It'll make big news. I'm sure. I'm sure you'll find out soon. <laughs> um, so, we have seen recently headlines uh, of you out with friends, guys, girls. Mm -hmm. How do you try and keep the the separation? between your ex extremely public life and then having some sort of a private life? I like my home a lot. So most of the time, I'm usually by the fire pit with my friends, whoever they are, whenever they are, just all hanging out. I like to do that. And that's, that's kind of how all of my friends understand that. And because the stories are sometimes on, sometimes off, sometimes on, are you with Justin or are you not with Justin? No, I'm not. So you are single. Yes, I am. So how do you find that person? Well, um... 
I think I'm, I'm okay with being content right now. I think that's what I'm, I'm happy with. And then whatever happens, happens, you know? You're gonna be 21. What is the first thing on your list to do that will be most significant, that you're most excited about? I have a birthday party, but I'll have a dinner on the actual birthday, and I will order my first glass at a restaurant. What will it be? Probably wine. White or red? Um, my mom seems to be a red kind of gal, so <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so a glass of wine with the family. Yeah. And, and I know you live with them as well. Yeah. So have you thought about getting your own place? And... Yeah, you know, I think it's time. I didn't ever want to be forceful just saying, okay, I've, I've made enough to just get my own house and just let's go and blow it off and do whatever. I just, I, I love being with my family and I, and I love knowing that they're there. But yeah, yeah, I think it's probably time for me to get my own house. Have you mapped out a 10 year plan? Do you think like that? I do, but you just never know how it's going to execute. I have goals personally and in my professional career too, but what's in today could be gone tomorrow, so you might not see me in five years. No, I think we're all right for five years. Will, will you always work, do you think? Yeah, until it comes time to have a family. That's when everything will probably slow down. Big family or small family? I mean, I'm Latin, so... Ah. <laughs> Lots of family. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, that, that, when that time comes, I'll decide. But, of course, <laughs> I like having a big family. Should we do just uh, one each? Okay. And then see? Tiebreaker? Yeah. Good. Okay. You want to quit now? Go. I want to see it. Uh, yes! You win. I won! <laughs> nice. Yay!